Hey everyone. Happy election Tuesday. Um, so because it's been cold and rainy today, I'm gonna be making some broccoli cheddar soup. I just got back from the store maybe 15, 20 minutes ago. Um but in this case I pretty much had everything already, but I did get more broccoli and um another can of soup. Now I do mine a little different. I know um what is that? I know that um just reading the different runs online, I can't find the one that I did years ago, but I loved it. But I kind of remember the steps and they were way less involved than a lot of these like blogs are making it seem. So I'm doing it different and I'm doing it in a slow cooker, so um I could just kind of set it for an hour or two on high. Um, so for mine, I just call it kind of dump broccoli, broccoli cheddar soup. Dump it. Um, because I'm basically just dumping everything in the crock pot and then letting it do its magic. Um, uh, the only part that I do kind of do on the outside of it is, um, I don't have an immersion blender. So I just use the regular blender to do the broccoli part. Um... And since I already had stock, I do like buying the little can, uh, what are they? The cartons of it. They have a lot of it out right now because the holidays. Um, but I have better than bouillon, so I was like, yeah, that's good. So for this, you just need heavy cream or some kind of, like, cream. Um, I was going to get almond milk, but I just said, you know what? Just to save money and everything, I already have heavy whipping cream. I just put a little bit of this in it and be good because that's just for the creamy element but because i'm using this cheddar cheese soup um it's gonna add some creaminess to it and what else did i use um well let me just say what you need okay so you need the cheddar cheese soup you need some kind of cream type stuff um you need your spices i just say spice as as um, as preferred, because we all kind of like different things. Um, but they kind of say pepper and all that. I'm using just my usual, what my mom used to call it, the Trinity, but her Trinity was Lowry's. Um, I forgot the other stuff, but, um, I have a few more things in mind, but, um, so yeah, some kind of cheese, of course. I'm going to be using this amazing cheese as my topper. But, um, inside of it, you guys, okay, don't laugh, don't judge me. I didn't feel like shredding. I have two blocks of, little small blocks of extra sharp cheddar, because that's my favorite kind to use and everything on things. I have orange and white. And I still have some of these left. And so I was getting the white one because I was going to start shredding it. And I was like, wait, I have extra sharp white cracker cuts in there I want to get rid of. So, they're just sitting in there taking up space. They're still good. They're not molded yet. So, these can go in there, too. And just break them up and voila. So, I have my um, bowl ready with some of the ingredients. I already sprayed the um, crock pot and I just turned it on and it's on high. It's heating up. Um, so, I'm going to put everything in this bowl to demonstrate because instead of bringing um, the stoneware thingy over here from the crock pot because, you know, I don't want to drop it and... All that. So, okay. Also, you guys, you need butter. I have some leftover from this stick. And then I brought out my, uh, some new butter. In case I need a little more. And what else? Um, I have better the bouillon for my stock. And so, and then I have, oh, of course, the star, the show here. I brought them. Um, I got the broccoli florets, petite florets. I got the florets, so I don't have to deal with the rest of the parts. Um, and then here's my carrot shredded up. I didn't, I kind of underestimated the carrots, guys. So this is going to be a real broccoli, um, soup. Because <laughs> I literally just got two little small bulk carrot out of the bulk thing. Um... I was going to even go as far as to get a little small bag of them or the sh ones that are pre-shredded. But um, 
the pre shredded ones. I should have ended. I was gonna get them, and I just decided not to get them. Um, but it would have made it a little easier. I just had to shred those and pray that my nail didn't get peeled back. So yeah, that wasn't fun. <laughs> But, okay, so here these are, and then you need a spatula to spatula get it all out, like, oh, here's one, to get it all out of the bowl once you put it in the crock pot. But this is the part over here I'm going to do. Okay, so you need, um, you need your carrots, shredded carrots. Like I said, no measurements here, really. Um, I just dump everything in there, and I just kind of eyeball it for this recipe because, you know, everything just... There are certain things I think I do follow the uh, measurements, but certain things I just eyeball it. Okay, so I'm going to just put, just to get rid of this right here, I'm going to put this butter, the rest of this butter stick in here. Where's my little throwaway bag? Um, oh. Okay. And... I'm going to put, what else should I do right now? Oh, the um, cheddar cheese soup. But before I do that, I need about, okay, let me get the blender. I'm going to do that part real quick. So let me move this aside. Um, I found a recipe last night that I liked, but I can't find it again. So, okay. You take your blender and um, you put, this is, how many ounces is this? This is about a pound of broccoli right here. I'm going to put this whole thing of broccoli in the blender. Oh my God, I should have done it that way. <laughs> okay, I might have to do it in separate steps because it's kind of too much. And it may not make it up to the top right away. So, okay. I'm going to do like this, you guys. I'm going to put half in right now. And then I'm going to put the other half in when that part's done. Okay, so. Then. I'm just going to put some water over it. But you could also do chicken stock in this part. Because... That's kind of what I'm using in place of water. So, let me just water it down. It's going to be kind of nasty though. It's going to be like a little broccoli smoothie right here. Okay, so... And then someone just mentioned in the recipe a good reminder. She said, don't do it too extreme with the blender because you want it to have kind of chunks of broccoli, not completely be, you know, gone. So that's enough. Enough to where it, um, is there's still chunks. Now, I know this looks nasty, guys. It's just. The broccoli. So I'm going to pour it into the bowl with the carrots and everything. Woo! And then I'm going to put the rest of this broccoli. And this time I'm going to put... Well, you know what? I'll just do that then. Because I don't think it matters really. I'm just gonna put a little bit of water so it isn't just totally like. Water. Bogged. Yeah. Okay. I need you, spatula. Okay, so get everything kind of crushed in there. Just trying to like get 
those bigger chunks down there. I put less water in this one because it was like, I want to... the broccoli and then I put all of this into the bowl so so far I have let me these I have um everything kind of dumped in this bowl so I'm gonna put the rest of this broccoli This isn't like the spatula I wanted to use. I like my other one. All right, so. Now, let me mix everything up. Mix the carrots, broccoli, and a little butter chunky here. <laughs> okay, so. Now I'm gonna put um let's see. I'm trying to think what I should do next. Oh cheddar cheese soup. No, I just personally use this. Some of them, a lot of the recipes aren't even mentioning using this, but for some reason when I made it years ago, the one I followed said to use it. So, this is the one I like to follow because every time I look at broccoli, every time I look at um, cheddar cheese soup at the store, I remember that recipe. That's why I'm like, I know that was a part of it. So, mix this all together. It's going to look kind of nasty right now, but that's why I'm not showing it. Get all that goodness out of there. And they have a healthy request win version of this too. This soup. Dude, this cheese smells like um the handy snack cheese. <laughs> oh, you know what I could put? Some of that um unexpected cheddar. Um, like the base of it in here, the dip. I'm gonna go get some of that. I'll be right back, guys. So, this is perfect for this weather, you guys. It's so cold right now, and um, so yeah. So, take these spoons. Alright, so, like I said, this part of it is, like, not the conventional way. But, um, yeah, this is just how I do it because, uh, you know, it's kind of nasty looking. <laughs> this stuff, even though I'm already going to put the shred version of this. This stuff is really good in recipes, I've noticed, because people put it in their mashed potatoes, grilled cheese, and that. It really has a good flavor compared to the, uh, the one that's in that bag. Okay, so 
from there, um, I'm not going to put the uh, cracker cuts in this. I'm going to wait until I... Uh, I'm going to wait until I put everything in the crock pot because it's just going to be nasty looking. And that's going to make me want to not even eat it. <laughs> just seeing it get all waterlogged. Okay, so I'm going to take maybe a tablespoon or two of this butter. And that's all the butter I'm going to put. I know some put like four tablespoons and all that. But, um, you know, the, this butter, I think with everything else involved in that, I, I think that's enough. Especially with that cheese, because that cheese spread has, um, has butter in it already. Okay, guys, so now the next part is, I'm going to put my spices. So I'm going to put a little bit of adobo. And I'm going to put... A little garlic salt. I got another one of these at Trader's because I like it so much. And before I wasn't really a garlic um, salt person. Um, everything but the leftovers. Just a little, whatever spices you want. Personally, I don't just stop at salt and pepper. So, um, oh, it smells good with that last thing I put in. Um. Some of this, just to put pepper in it. I mean, I have pepper over there, but this has pepper and everything in it. Um, a little bit of Lowry's. And a little Himalayan. And that's it. Then I gotta stir everything around. This just looks like not good <laughs> but I promise it's good it's amazing and then I'm gonna wrap this up you guys I'm sorry it's going kind of long I did parts before I could have probably shredded the broccoli before I started filming um this stuff made it smell amazing right here I'm gonna put a little more okay so then like I said I'm eyeballing so I'm gonna put a little heavy whipping cream I need to use the rest of this for that other recipe I was gonna do ooh this made it look pretty at least at least you don't see all the ugliness anymore the ugly Look how it looks, you guys. <laughs> Before, didn't look too hot. Okay, now I'm going to put the cheese. Or should I just wait till you take it over there? Okay, Um. hold on. Before I do that, um, I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think, because you need two tables, you need two cups of the cheese. Um, I might just shred some of that other one up, the orange one, so it has more of an orange look, but I don't know. Um, okay, hold on. Let me think, you guys, let me think. Um... I'll stress some of that up in a minute. But I'm going to take this so far to the crock pot. And pour it in there. I like just putting everything in this one bowl because it just makes it where it's not all separate ingredients all over the place. And, okay, I'm going to go get, and of course, like, if I feel like it needs more spices after, I'm 
I'm gonna add more. I'm gonna shred up some of the orange, the orange extra sharp I just got to put in because it does need that, and it also needs, um, it needs bouillon. I'm gonna put two cups of uh, what's this stuff called? Um, two, two cups of hot water. So, um. Oh, this water's hot. This water gets hot. I don't even need um, boiling water sometimes. So, two cups of hot water. Boiling water. Boiling hotish water. Um, and I'm gonna put. One teaspoon of this, according to this, one teaspoon equals an eight ounce cup of water. So I have to put enough, I'm just going to eyeball it, um, two teaspoons worth of this to make the broth. It's probably a little more. And I'm going to let that sit for a minute. And then I'm going to go get this uh, orange cheese. And I'm going to do that on camera. Don't worry, guys. But... Yeah, I have to um, put some of that because, unfortunately, I spoke too soon and that, those crackheads are molded now. They weren't my glasses when I eat them, so I guess I just, um, you know, part of me would, in the old days would have been like, oh, just break that off. But I'm just really like OCD about that kind of thing now. I don't know why. Okay, so I'm going to be using... Some of this extra sharp, um, and then I'm gonna freeze the rest because I don't want it to go bad really fast. So yeah, you guys, I just I call it my dump it, dump it, um, cheddar. What is it called? Um, broccoli cheddar soup. Because I don't. There's no rules with it. You know, for me. But one of my friends taught me years ago, don't do it like this. She said, freeze it and then shred it. But, um, you know, I like to have something to eat off of sometimes, so I just never do that. Okay, so I'm going to go pour this in the crock pot. Ooh. And. Drop out of there. I'm gonna stir this around. Mmm, that already tastes a little pinch of it. And then, let's put all these. I'm gonna start um, shredding this orange cheese real fast. And then I will wait for an hour or two to eat some. So let me move that. All right, you guys. So I can't wait to show you guys how it turns out. It may not be the cutest. I don't know. It looks. It's looking like how it looks in online, but you know, I, I went. I took a little detour with it. You know, I didn't measure that anything. So, sometimes measuring, especially when it comes to... Oh, and I forgot to put the cornstarch. I gotta put some of that in there. I put that with water. Like, I mix a little drop, few drops of water in. It makes it so much easier to blend into it than doing it, just pouring it in. It's all, like, little balls of cornstarch everywhere. But I said for the holidays, I'm gonna get a little bag of flour, a little small one. Because I'm sick of conversions and all that. Conversion... So, I'm like, you know what? Most recipes are set for flour, so. Anyway, guys, I will talk to you guys later. Stay warm. Make you some soup. Um, You know, I've been seeing a lot of recipes. I just followed this, started following this guy on Instagram. Uh, 
YouTube that he look like he has some good things on there. They're not things I typically um would get would eat. Like uh, one was like he got the ham. You know the beans that you make you get when you have ham leftovers. There was like a bag of beans you can buy, and it's like a thirty bean soup beans or something. And then he put um, chuck rose cut up, and he put it in the crock pot. It looked really good. But I thought it was more like, because he said beef and beans, I was thinking more like chili beans when you make them like, you know? So I was like, oh, okay. But it looked pretty good to me. But then I was like, I was already kind of set on this, so... All right, you guys, I will talk to you guys later. Have a good, um, what is it called? What day is it? It's Tuesday. Have a good Tuesday. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.